Kisang ba ka jalaw kon rat kisang ba. Menda kalas ni ublay ublay ban chngo kindit kindit ya ka pain mount school. Kani ka jing lady ka jong umanti rang ba daladi sa ka dek school kalong hadin pa ka lami ka kendrum kendram ha ubnai ubal dep. Ha kani ka jing jurup kinsan jong umanti rang ba ya ka dek school ka pala bananam jong jala. La don lang ru umanti ka tanat puliputi uba lakman boy u chief secretary uba dp walang bad ka officer ka tanat puliputi ka jala. Umenti rangba ulalek banya bat pek dala ki khmat ya ke jinglong jengman haborok wik skol. Haka ba ula krenru ya ki nongtrei bat kumju ya ki khna ki basa hostel haka te ki jaka. U konrad ulong ba hadin ki jingi kren banya bat u menteri badai khmi. La perkhat ban wan hi sya ka te ki jaka. Kham tam hadin ki kendrum kendram ki balami ha upenai upala dep. Ka bala pelong ya ki kimi ki kpa jok ki khna skol bat ki no hikai ba kin mi ya ki. Ulang maka sorkar kan maramat ya baru kijunun kama ketika sekul, lalu kijaka lingbar, pada kijaka saat dan hostel. Ulang itu apakah sorkar kan bha ya ke pisah nakam ta baru ki jingtre, bat la betha ya ke tenat PWD buildings, ban khot no ya ke tenda, ban tre kenang ban pendep suwa, ban long school biang la syamsnep. So where are you from? I'm from JJS. JJS. Yes. Which class are you? I'm in class 6. So how long have you been in the hostel here? Class 6. Four years now. Four years? Yes. This is your bed? No. I stay in another dorm. You stay in another dorm? Yes. Bathroom, indoor room. Huh? Balls. Balls. Here? Yeah. Okay, on the floor? On the cupboards. On the cupboards. So you would like to get the cupboards done immediately? And the bathroom? And the floor? Floor in some part? Huh? As far as the roof, it shakes. And who wrote all of these things? Did you, did you, write, did you write this thing? No, it was. It looks like you're handwriting. <laughs> sure? Yeah. This looks like a history book of all those who were here. So you're saying uh, the flooring, the cupboard, and the pump? Lighting is sufficient. Lights? Oh, yes. It's two desks, right? So, do you have this table lamps, etc.? No. So, how far reading it is required? No, it's not. I think that we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. We have decided to come and visit uh, here in Pine Mount School. Uh, as uh, we are all aware that uh, there were some concerns that have been raised by uh, parents and the past pupils uh, regarding uh, some issues that were there in Pine Mount School and this being one of the premier institutes of our state and uh, you know, in the recent past there have been a lot of issues that have come up out here. So therefore we felt that uh, a site visit uh, and coming and seeing things for yourself uh, would give us a better perspective <coughs> on the current situation out here. So based on that we had decided to come here and uh, visit uh, Pine Mount School along with the Honorable Education Minister and uh, other officials including our Chief Secretary. And uh, we have seen that uh, there are concerns regarding uh, amenities like toilets. So we have taken a decision on the spot that uh, whatever repair has to be done to improve the infrastructure in terms of toilets, in terms of other infrastructures which uh, require uh, repairs will be done. At the same time, we've also seen that the hostel <coughs> facility is not at all uh, you know, uh, up to the mark and a uh, lot of uh, things are required to be done. And so we have also decided that, uh, that in fact there is a proposal already and the sanction has already been done. The tender processing um, was taking a bit of time so I have spoken to the PWD minister uh, in charge building, uh, PWD building, that uh, the tendering process should be completed at the earliest. And uh, within this academic year, uh, sorry, within the next academic year, before the next academic year starts, that we would want the, the construction work of the new um, hostel building to start. And in the meantime, we'll make temporary arrangements uh, for the students who are in the hostel. Uh, and we are looking at multiple options. We'll take a call on that in the next uh, few days time on how we can uh, temporarily accommodate the children who are in the hostels in temporary facilities around the campus only so we're examining that too we have also come and seen this auditorium which has been lying unused we feel it can be put to better use so we will be repairing this also and uh, deciding on how we will use it uh, in the future 
so this was basically an um, idea was to, as I said, have a hands-on uh, view of the entire situation out here. We are so also seeing the, the field out here. This also is in a bad condition. So we feel that uh, an improvement can be done in the field also. So those aspects also will be examined. And uh, other administrative requirements also are there. For example, the uh, offices required for different uh, staff and principal. We'll examine all those aspects also. So the idea was basically to come and see the overall situation out here. And based on the different concerns that have been raised by the public and uh, the past pupils, the teachers and um, other managing committee members. So based on all those concerns, we thought that uh, we should make a visit and uh, see things with our own eyes. And based on that, as I said, we're going to take certain steps to improve things. So um, though these are not matters that uh, uh, you know, requires us as a minister and the chief minister and all of us to come. But because uh, even small matters like these uh, are important to us and uh, concerns of uh, students like this are important to us. So every single thing that we can do to make things better, uh, we will do it. And uh, this entire concern about the uh, toilets not being in good condition, immediate steps will be taken. No, those things are uh, allegations could be there. That is something that uh, the department will look into and um, will give a report accordingly. But as I said, uh, we are not here to look into that side. We are here really to see the way forward. We are here to ensure that we can take steps to improve things. And at the minister's level, chief secretary and my level, once we come here and uh, you know visit and take decisions, then uh, things will be done at a much faster pace. So that's really what our objective is today. So it's ongoing right now. Yeah, we have not got the report yet. Yeah, I mean, any any step that has to be taken will be based only on, uh, you know, proper investigation or whatever uh, reports that we get. So based on the reports, we will see and we will accordingly decide what to, how to move forward.